Hello, my name is Tom Pfeiffer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about how a customer can troubleshoot a message waiting light issue from the log collects on their Aura messaging servers. First, we will want to look at the subscriber's activity report to see if we did get a message at the time they reported the trouble. Here, we're going to log into the storage server under logs. Under user activity, we're going to input the subscriber's mailbox, the date and time that this occur issue occurred, and look as far as their activities. Here we do see this user received one new message at 516 in the evening. Therefore, with the one new message, the message waiting light should have been turned on and populated for this user. From this point, we will want to go back to the logs, do a log collect for this user. Here we're going to put in the specific date and time to do a log collect. We want to, about five to 10 minutes before and after the event occurred, so we do not have too many logs to be looking at. It's best to keep it as small as possible. Once we have the log collect saved to our desktop, we're going to label it store so that we know that this is from this storage server because later on we will do a same log collect from the application server and we can keep the two isolated and know the difference. With the log collect on our desktop, we can unzip the file and look for the AIC MWI listener log. With the AIC MWI listener log, we will search for the phrase LAMP. This will show us that the storage server sent the request to the application server to turn on or off the message waiting light. When we have entries for LAMP and they correspond to the user's mailbox that we are looking for, we're going to search up for the word appliance. The IP address of the appliance is actually the IP address of the application server that did the action to turn on the LAMP for our user. Here we moved over to our application server. Same area, logs, log collect, and we're going to go ahead and put in a specific time and date. Again, five minutes before the event occurred, five minutes after the event. Therefore, we have more uh, a narrow window of files, and we'll be looking for our user in these files. Save again to our desktop. This time we're going to name it Appliance or App Log Collect. Once we have the application log collect files on our desktop, we can open up the files. and look for the mwi.log file. Open the mwi.log file and input our user's mailbox number. Here it shows all the entries for this user. This tells us that the appliance application server is Referencing this user's mailbox, when you see the word true during the MWI update, true means turn on the light, false means turn off the light. 
This is saying that the application server is populating the details and the message waiting light service is running on the application server. From this point, the message and event will be sent over to a log called CS Trace, and we will want to open up that. Again, look for our user, put in their mailbox number. In the CS Trace log, we will see the create action to notify the communication manager of this event. We'll be looking for a event called notify with a 200 OK. If we have anything other than 200 OK, we'll need to get other parties involved. If this goes through a um, SES, we'll need to get a, a trace SM run to find out what's going on as far as the failure. Or if this goes direct connect, do a list trace on the CM side to identify what the error is getting back. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit us at support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.